One of these shirts cost 90 something pounds. One of them costs 10 pounds. Can you tell which one's the real one? Let's take a look and find out. Before I go any further, I just want to say to those of you wondering where's Bandproof streams gone, they're still happening. I know I was on Twitch, then I was on YouTube. Now I seem to be nowhere, but it's not the case. I'm on kick.com. Kick.com slash Bandproof, please. Go over there, drop a follow, check it out. I know some of you might have never heard of it before. It's a good streaming platform and I'm thoroughly enjoying it and the community we're building over there is awesome. We're getting new faces in and stuff. It's great. I'm very much enjoying it over there. So check it out, kick.com slash bandproof. Make an account, come and check it out. Say hi and chat. Would really appreciate it. Back to the video. How's it going people? Band Reviews back. Here I am. And today we're going to be looking at a real football shirt versus a fake football shirt to see if there's that much difference between spending a lot of money on a shirt and spending very little money on a shirt. We're gonna have to take a look at it to find out. Before I go into any details on it though, I wanna show you a few pictures. So I'm gonna show you a few side-by-side -side pictures of each shirt next to each other. I'll keep the real one on the same side and the fake one on the same side for every picture. And then after these pictures, we'll see if you could tell from the photos which one was real, which one was fake. Then I'll tell you which one's real, which one's fake. And then we'll see how much difference there really was. Did you get it right? So the answer is the one on my left, your right, was the real one. The one on my right, your left, was the fake one. Could you tell from looking at it? Now there are a few differences, there definitely are, but from a distance, I mean, you really can't tell a difference. Massive giveaway immediately, which I try to keep out of those photos, is the real one has the, the tag on the sleeve. The fake one, I hit it, but, the tag is hanging on the neck, right? So that's a big difference, immediate way you can spot it. I know that's true for Nike shirts. I don't know how that applies for other brand shirts, but I know that's true for Nike shirts. But um, the first thing I'll say with the difference between the two is they just feel different. Like they look very, very similar. They look the same. The real one just feels, I don't know, just feels better. It's The, the pattern on the shirt is the same. It's got like a texture to it, with like little crisscross patterns in. It looks exactly the same looking at it, but it doesn't feel the same. It feels different. Um, the collar feels very much similar, but the actual red part of the shirt feels very different. The real one is stretchy and like, just feels, it just, I can't, I wish you could touch it because it's impossible to explain on camera, right? But it just feels different. It's way more stretchy and nice, whereas the, the fake one feels a bit more sort of plasticky and not, I don't know. I, it, it doesn't feel bad. Like it feel, like wearing them feels fine. It feels absolutely fine to wear. Um, and you really wouldn't know the difference unless you had them side by side as far as like the texture because it looks exactly the same. But when you feel the real one, like I'm feeling them both now with my finger and thumb and it just feels nice. Like it's not thicker necessarily. It's just different. It's like stretchier, more elastic-y like just feels nicer. So, for the rest of the video, easy way to be able to tell, the fake one has Salah on the back, the real one has Darwin on the back. Um, they've both got the new Premier League numbers on, they both look the same, but I'm gonna try and position them in a way where I can take you up a little bit closer and have a bit more of a look at it, because there's uh, there's a few, a few differences that I'd like to point out, right? So I've managed to like makeshift hang up the, the shirts on a couple of stools behind me. Let's go in a bit closer. I'm gonna grab my phone as a second camera and, um, We'll have a little look up close, right? So this is how I've managed to position them. Bear with me. So again, the right-hand side one is the fake one. The left-hand side is the real one. I just want to do a couple comparisons, right? If we look at the liver bird on the real one, you can see it looks clean and crisp and just all the edges are just tight and solid. The fake one, like the LFC is not quite straight. The L looks a little bit weird. It's like fat. 
And then on the top here, there's just loose threads and stuff everywhere, right? Loose threads and it just looks a little bit, if I quickly go back to this one, it, it just looks crisp, right? So that's, that's, a, that's a giveaway to start with. And it's like fat, I like around here and like I say the loose threads around here the the real one doesn't have that like if we go really close on it it's just clean and crisp and just looks looks nice right if we put the texture side by side though if you look at it maybe here look you can see the texture is very much the same crisscross texture there is a slight difference in color it comes across on camera more than it does in real life but there is a slight difference in in color the the Liverpool official one that looks red right i got the real one from lfc.com just so people know where it came from so it's definitely official right um the next thing is like on this um i wonder if i can get them a bit closer maybe let's have a look so the real one's now on the right hand side but this this stitch line here like you can't really get it like it's it's just well stitched on the fake one here look you can it's so hard to show but like it's kind of like it's kind of got a flap on it like I can get my finger on it I could grab it do you know what I mean like whereas the real one is it's just stitched way more tightly and just just nice right after that the fake one the Premier League patch is different so it's got the larger Premier League patch which I think is more like the player size one the fake one has like the the fan size one is is it different yeah the one's bigger than the other right um it also has the no room for racism badge on the fake one which i'm totally fine with i wouldn't mind having that on the real one to be honest but also they haven't look at this look can you see but like they haven't put it on properly it's coming off so now i'm in two minds whether to just peel it try and peel it off completely or whether to somehow try and iron it back down and stick it down on that one doesn't really matter because I've got a real one to wear, right? But this one, it's, it's it looks weird on camera, but I promise you, it's it's ironed on completely properly, right? The next thing, if I put them back like this, the sponsor on the fake one is like rubbery and sticky on there. On the new Liverpool one, it's smooth and not like tacky, like it's a different different texture. It looks exactly the same, right? but this one is like a tacky material. Now I know last season's Liverpool shirt, on the official ones, it was tacky. On the white, on the, on the home shirt where it had white standard chartered on it, it was this same rubbery, sticky material. I wonder if they've just used the same one that they had last year for this on the fake one, because this year's Liverpool shirt, it's smooth and shiny, similar to how the player numbers are on the back. And the same thing applies for the Expedia. So new Expedia logo is on the shirt now. It's square rather than round, right? On here, it's like matte and smooth. On the fake one, they've got the logo right. It's the new Expedia logo. They've done it right, but it's rubbery and sticky. Um, so there hasn't been a Liverpool shirt with the new logo on yet. I don't think this is the first one, right? So this is just wrong because they, they can't even say they used the one from last year, right? Because it wasn't it was a different logo. So they've made it with the same texture and materials that the big sponsor is made of, and that's just not how it is on the real one. So that's a difference. The Nike ticks themselves, that's the fake Nike tick. It looks a little bit wonky on camera for some reason. The real one looks maybe like this line here is a bit straighter maybe, but the curves in the where the fabric's hanging, it looks like it, it looks different every time you look at it, right? Whereas this one almost looks like it kind of goes like this at the end. Does that make sense? So if we're getting really detailed into it, the collar, um, like the stitching on the collar here, you can kind of see the stitching in it. The, there's like a gap here where it's like almost pulling apart. The real one doesn't have that, right? There's a bit of a tiny loose thread there, but it doesn't have that. Um, and then I guess we go onto the back. Oh, finally, that's the um, like engineered label that the, all the shirts have on for the real one. That's the fake one. Um, it's still got that same materials. It looks good. It looks very much identical, but uh, the number's obviously different, right? If we switch them around and go to the back now. On the back, the first thing I noticed, right, is LFC have printed the numbers way further down than the 
fake one has, like the number is really far down. If you look at that arch across the top here, um, there's a big gap here, right? Whereas on the fake one, it's right at the top. Uh, that seems to be correct. So I'll put a picture on the screen now, but it's, um, I think because of this archway here, to get a long name on, you, it would, because it's straight printing right on the Premier League font, um, it would come over this. So they've lowered them all down and done them all the same, I think, and printed them all lower down. Um, and that's way lower down, whereas they've printed it higher up. Now, that looks weird to me. That looks wrong, do you know what I mean? That, that looks like it should be higher up. I'm used to them being higher up, but it's not. Um, that's, that's official. Um, and like I say, if you look at the uh, McAllister shirts, the picture that I put up, you can see it's actually printed lower down like that. That is correct, and that's how they're doing them, it looks like. Apart from that, the back looks pretty much similar. Um, on here, this is that rubbery sticky material, and on this one, it's the same rubbery sticky material, but it feels it feels thicker on the real one. It feels like more pronounced. It's still pronounced and raised up on the fake one, but it, it, it's not as thick. Uh, and then finally, the name and numbers. We've got the new Premier League numbers on here, right? They've got this like lightning strike going through them, and you can see the official one is the same. Uh, Another difference though is this looks thick, like you can't see the texture of the shirt through it on the fake one. Because on the real one, you can kind of see that crisscross pattern coming through. I don't know what that means, but apart from that, the lines on the bottom are fine. There's no issues with them, you know. I'm okay with those. The name and numbering, the, like the actual lettering looks the same. It's got that black outline, thin black outline on it. I would say they look pretty identical. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I've missed that I haven't pointed out. Uh, and I guess the next thing is to like try and mine and see how they fit, right? So this is the real Liverpool shirt in a large, like I say, from LFC.com. It's a large, it fits quite tight and snug, but it fits absolutely fine. Like I say, size large, feels a little bit tight across the back, but it's so stretchy and just nice. Uh, it just feels lovely to wear. Um, the sleeves are nice and tight, which I quite like to be fair. Um, and it just feels, feels good. It fits good, it's a large. I'd used the measuring guide on lfc.com to check which size to get, and it worked out fine. Like, it, it fits perfectly, right? Can't fault it, fits absolutely perfectly. Let's try the fake one, which is, which is a 2XL, okay? So here I am wearing the fake one. The tag's obviously annoying, because it's here on this one when you try it on. The sleeves are a bit more baggy. Like I say, this is a 2XL versus a large, and it's not, it's a little bit bigger, but it just fits differently, right? The sleeves are like a bit baggy. Um, and again, I use the measuring guide. It comes true to start is like, if you use the measuring guides, you tend to be going okay, right? But it, it doesn't fit as nice, but it's not massively bigger. It's a tiny bit bigger. So the sizes are way different on the fake ones. They come from China, so China sizes are weird, right? If you've ever shopped on like Sheen or something like that, you'll know stuff ends up coming out like this big because it comes from China. So buy bigger sizes off if you do buy them. Um, but yeah, it, it fits fine. Um, it just doesn't, it's not stretchy. It, it's, it's stretchy, it's not like solid. It's not like a cotton like shirt or something, do you know what I mean? But it's not as stretchy and just not, just doesn't feel quite as nice to wear. And this badge coming up here is really annoying. I, like, you know, I was kind of hoping I would at least have two wearable shirts, one with Salah on and one with Darwin on, right? Um, but that, you can't walk around with that flapping on your sleeve, can you, do you know what I mean? Now, I will say, I've had other shirts, the fake ones, with patches and sponsors and stuff on. I've never seen that before, um, so it might be an oversight, but that's the kind of thing that you get when you go with a fake shirt, right? I'm sure, like, the loose threads on the Liver Bird and stuff, like, they're gonna, they're gonna be hopefully picked up by Nike and not happen by Nike and won't get through to customers. And if they do, because you bought it from a very reputable retailer, if you bought this in store and that was peeling off on the sleeve there, you could probably just return it or get them to fix it, right? If the badge looked really bad, you could probably return it and get them to exchange it for a different one, right? Um, whereas if you've ordered a fake shirt from China, which takes three weeks to get here, it's cost you a tenner. Even if they are happy to swap it for you, it might not be worth doing it, do you know what I mean? So, um, look, they look super, super similar, um, and uh, these are not bad at all. And if you want just a bunch of like nice 
light thin t-shirts to wear around, especially in the summertime because it is hot, trust me, it is hot right now. They're, they're comfy, they're nice, they look decent, do you know what I mean? If you put it side by side of a real one, there is a difference. Whether that difference is 90 pounds, so I say 90 pounds, I think the, the actual shirt is like 75 to 79 pounds. By the time I added name and number in and the Premier League patch to it, it came to about 95 pounds. It did have a 10% discount, so I paid like, I think I paid 88 pounds or something for it. It's 85 pounds, around that price. Whereas this costs like, with name and number in, it's like 11, 12 quid. Is that, is there 80 pounds extra cost in the real one versus this fake one? I don't know. That's for you guys to decide, I guess. But a lot of you in the comments were saying when I showed some fake shirts on the video before, I wish I had a real one to compare it to. So I went out, I spent 90 pounds of my hard-earned money for you guys to get that real shirt and compare the two. And I was curious too, right? It wasn't just because you asked me to. I really wanted to know how different are they? And they're not that different to look at, but they are different, do you know what I mean? So if you were walking down the street in this, I don't think anybody would ever know, especially if you take the tag off, right? <laughs> I don't think anyone would ever know that it's not real. I, I literally don't think they could tell. I, no one's gonna point you out saying, that's a fake Liverpool shirt. Um, even though a Liverpool shirt's a very common shirt to see, it's really bloody close, you know what I mean? However, if you bump into somebody else wearing a real one, and you really look at it, you might be able to tell. And like I said, the biggest thing is the feel of it. it. The material is different. It's not as stretchy. It just feels tough and like, I don't know. It's, again, it doesn't feel bad to wear it. Like as a t-shirt, it's an awesome t-shirt. Like I'm not saying this is horrible. Like the material is disgusting or anything. It feels horrible to wear. It doesn't, it feels fine, it feels great. I'll happily wear it, do you know what I mean? But the real one feels premium and nice. Like, it's the one thing that I can't get across on camera. Just the, how the real one feels. Like, it's just, it's just different. It's more, it's softer. Um, and it just feels nicer. Like, all I can, like, when you rub it together like this, it's just kind of smooth. When you rub this one together, it feels a little bit sort of gritty. And again, it's not, it's not massively bad. Like, there's some fake shirts out there, right? Old, like, I remember back in the day, you could get fake shirts when I was young, and they were like shiny, and they looked like they were made out of a bin bag or something. These have come a long way, you know what I mean? Like, you can't tell the difference by looking at it on camera, especially. Like, anyone would say these are the same shirts, wouldn't they? Um, but yeah, there is a difference. And I mean, the biggest difference is, this one supports the football club that you love, and this one supports someone in China and you don't know who they are, what they're doing and what else they're up to, do you know what I mean? Like, there's that side of it too, but um, yeah. It's up to you to decide, right? But hopefully that helps. You guys asked for it in the last few videos. You wanted to see fake versus real. There you have it. Hopefully the video did it justice. I tried to get as close up as I could. It might have been a little bit wobbly with the camera. I apologize if that's the case, but I appreciate it. So there's lots more videos coming up and we're doing all sorts of things on the channel now, right? It's not just football shows. It seems to have been a theme just lately. It's not just that. We'll be doing all other sorts of stuff. So if you enjoy me or any of the content that I make, please do give the video a like, hit the subscribe button and drop a comment. Tell me what you thought. Did you spot it straight away in the photos that I took? Or did it take longer than that for you to figure it out? Was the label a dead giveaway? Was it something you knew about? Let me know, I'm really curious. What did you think? How different are they, especially on camera? I'm sure they look the same, right? Thank you for watching, people. You're all awesome, stay bamproof, and I'll see you really soon. Peace.